Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys something that I actually thought a lot of people knew how to do, but turns out, I guess a lot of people don't know how to do this, because um, I will show on screen right now. I had quite a few comments on my last video, which is showing the new settings within Fortnite. If you guys haven't like watched that and don't know what to use DirectX 11 or DirectX 12, you guys can go and watch that video. It will give you all the information you guys need. I'll probably have to make an update video on that, because a few things have changed, but for the most part, that should help you. Just a quick plug you guys can watch that video if you haven't already it will be in like the end screen so if you watch the whole video of this you will be able to just click and get right redirected right there but yeah i did a lot of comments on that video which again as i just said i will put them on screen right now um basically these comments right here people just asking how i have or how i've added multiple custom resolutions to my game um i don't know if it's a glitch or i don't know if this is just generally the way to do it but in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to add multiple resolutions to your game where you can just they're interchangeable with it even in game so usually you'd have to close your game to change your resolution or like restart your game to put on a different stretch resolution or to take it out of stretch resolution. So for example, if you went to native, you'd usually have to restart your game to then go and change it back to like, I don't know, like a stretch resolution or what would be now deemed as a stretch resolution. But yeah, on screen right now, you guys can see I have like multiple resolutions. They're interchangeable in game. I can go between stretch resolution, native, 1904 by 1071, a different stretch resolution. I can just keep changing resolutions in game without having to restart my game. And I think it's just down to the way I set it, set like set the resolutions up. So in today's video, I will show you guys the correct way just to set up custom resolutions. Inform you guys all on that. If you go ahead to enjoy the video, I'm not trying to talk on by the way. This intro is kind of long. If you do go ahead to enjoy the video, drop a like. It takes two seconds. You can do it right now as I speak. Get it over and done with. Um, supports me more than you think subscribe post notifications if you haven't already and then you can then comment note to gang down below potentially get a shout out in my next video but yeah without further ado after all that talking we'll just get straight into it so guys, as I said, I will show on screen again. I have all these resolutions on my like game. So I have every single one of these resolutions on my game. Don't need to restart my game to change them. I can go to like 1680 by 1080, which is classed as a stretch resolution. I can basically go and use that resolution. I can then change back to native. I can then change back to 1904 by 1071, which is the Tfue stretch resolution. I can just switch all my resolutions around in game without having to restart my game and just go between all these different stretch resolutions. I don't have to go off the game. And I think it's just how I set it up, as I previously said. So yeah, um. I'm gonna go over to my desktop right now. You guys can probably see I am on my desktop. And I will show you guys right now how I initially did all this and set it up. On my OBS, not all of my desktop is in on the screen. I don't know why, but I guess we'll just keep it this way. I don't really want to mess with anything. But yeah, how will I change my resolution? Um, I'll just show you how to, how to do it now. You guys wanna go to your little search thing down here. Mine's kind of cut off. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna search percent app data percent. Um, I'll just put on screen how you type that. Like the just a, this is on screen right now is what you have to search because you can't see it. But it should come up file folder. You guys wanna click that file. And there you go, like it's gonna open this right here. You guys, it should just be on there. So now you guys are on here, you wanna go back to app data. So just click this here. You don't wanna press a local. I'm gonna look for Fortnite. Um, mine is all the way down here. Well, where it says Fortnite game. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna press save, config, Windows client. And then where it says game user settings ini. You guys wanna click this. You wanna right click it actually. Press properties. You wanna make sure read only is unticked. So on the attributes, read only is unticked. So untick that, press apply, press okay. Now you can double click into here. I'm just gonna like enlarge this like this so you guys can see it all. But yeah, if I scroll down, you guys wanna scroll down to where it says resolution size X, resolution size Y, and last user confirmed resolution size X, and last user confirmed resolution size Y. So now you have to change this to whatever resolution you want. For example, right here, let's use this for example 1758 by 1080 um there you go 1758 by 1080 you want to just change x to 1758 and then the bottom always needs to be 1080 so you just do the exact same you do you do like whatever resolution you want here so this would be this would work out to be like basically it'd work out to be this 1758 by 1080 that's what it would work out to be but you just do it in like that format and then you also do the same for resolution for the last user confirmed one you just change it all so it all works and just just it's all there you know so once you've changed these kind of simple you press file you press save so you just click save right here you then can cross out of that um i am not saving it by the way because i don't want to mess anything up but i'm just gonna press don't save obviously you guys press save because you've just made changes and then you want to click back here right click it again press properties go to attributes tick read only like re-tick it so it's ticked like the box is ticked press apply and then press okay ticking read only basically just make sure that the game doesn't try and force and change anything within this file when you actually tick read only and apply basically the game can't change anything so when you do change to a different resolution it's sort of saved onto there and can't just be auto changed it's kind of hard to explain but um yeah it's saved into the game files and it'll always be on your game so yeah i'm gonna press ok after you've done that 
You can then cross out of here and then you want to locate basically your graphics card control panel. So you may have AMD, I have Nvidia, like a lot of you guys pretty well as well. You just right click your desktop and you should probably find one. I'll either be AMD or Nvidia. Mine's Nvidia, so I'll just click this right here. Once you guys are over on here, it should load up like this. You guys want to go down to where it says display and change resolution. You guys want to click this and go to the corresponding like monitor. So mind I'm I'm using I play Fortnite on the BenQ monitor. I'm gonna click this. You guys then want to scroll down to basic number two where it says choose a resolution. What you guys want to then do is press customize. And then as you guys can see right here, these are all the resolutions I can use within game. I can use 1656, 1750, 1758 and 1780 by 1080 and i can also go between all of them and even 1904 by 1071 and native so i can use about seven to even eight resolutions within game and keep just in like interchangeable i can go between them in game so they're all saved into my game and my game files and they're just they're just there but yeah what you guys want to do when you're here to add a new resolution press create custom resolution you then want to just change this right here to the corresponding one you just added in your game user settings so let's say for example it is 1758 you change that right there to 1758 you keep this vertical lines as 1080 you change your refresh rate to your basic corresponding monitors refresh rate so i'm on 144 hertz monitor so i'll change that to 144 and if you're on a 60 hertz like most of you guys maybe you then change that to just 60 you don't want to go any lower than your refresh rate and you also don't want to go any higher because if you go higher you may experience screen tearing and the game will just feel a bit weird because it's trying to push your monitor further than it actually goes and it just isn't good so you may get a lot of black screens or just screen tearing and it could affect your game so yeah keep that on um you're just you, you, you should know your monitor's refresh rate anyway make sure your scan type is on progressive and these all should just be normal so just keep this on automatic once you've done that you guys want to press test it should just black out your screen for like five seconds and then you guys want to press apply i don't want to do it for the sake of the video because it's just kind of common sense but once you press apply basically you're going to have the resolution and you'll get your monitor is going to go to a very weird stretch once you guys have done that you need to at least open fortnite once so all you have to do is run fortnite once with that stretch resolution you don't have to always keep your display or your monitor in stretch resolution so you don't have to be going for youtube you don't have to be on discord you don't have to be on Google Chrome in a stretch resolution because it does automatically just save for Fortnite But you at least need to run Fortnite once or at least open the game once with the stretch resolution also on your display monitor But once you guys have done that or at least ran the game once you guys can then cross out Fortnite Change your monitor's resolution in the actual Nvidia control panel back to native So for example, I'll change mine over here to 1920 by 1080 and then it's automatically saved on Fortnite That is then used to opening on that stretch resolution You can then open Fortnite and it will just open in stretch resolution and then as you go back and add more and more stretch resolutions like i've added all these ones over like time i've been using stretch resolution and they will just automatically save and they should just keep stacking on top of each other in the game if you keep doing it in this like this method and they should just never like go like you should be able to always change in game without having to go off the reason i have so many and can change them all in game is because I've added this many. You guys probably added one and then you delete the other one. You guys need to keep these resolutions here. So always keep all these custom resolutions selected, but then end up changing it. But make sure you always change back to 1920 by 1080 once you've ran the game in that resolution once. Therefore, you can actually just use your PC in native resolution. And it actually does look good and enjoyable just to browse through your PC besides playing Fortnite. But yeah, for me, this all just worked. And basically, I had all stacked. Like, as you guys can see, it just goes like this. And I can keep changing my resolution whenever I want. Kind of good. It's fun to experiment with them in game and see what works best. For the most part, I use 1904 by 1071. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's down to you guys. I do sometimes go to stretch resolution when I'm bored. And I can just go back whenever I want. It's kind of good. I don't have to keep restarting my game because they're all saved. But yeah, guys, I thought I could have made this video because it seems as if people just didn't know how to do this this or didn't i have to stack them on top of each other so you could just keep changing in game which was i think was the main reason people were asking but yeah i thought i made this little video updated for chapter two and if actual og stretch resolution ever does come back you guys can come back to this video and basically watch this so you guys can do that like the same for that as well yeah a quick video i'm um, trying to make it as quick as possible but also explain everything to you guys sorry if this video was long but um i didn't really ramble on i did sort of just get to the point and try and explain how to do all this and how it all works but yeah, if you did watch to the end the least you guys can do is drop a like means the world and if you guys are subscribed post notifications on also means the world you guys will be notified whenever i upload a video just like this and you will never miss an upload on my channel but yeah it's been your boy farfetch and yeah peace